Mash. Finny Newmark here. Uh, I'm off to Kenya, the Masomara, uh, tomorrow. And I'm currently packing, so I thought I'd show you some of the stuff that I'm bringing with me. First off, I'll take you through um, some of my stuff, uh, some of the camera gear, uh, and overnight stuff that I'm gonna bring. So let me get it on the floor, and uh, we'll see what we've got. This is, this is as much helpful for me as it is, as it is for making a video. Um, just to see everything, make sure I've got everything. Trinity casual clothes, sleeping bag, sleeping bag liner, uh, blow up pillow. Some of my clothes, some sliders, and some swimming trunks in there just in case. Got my wash bag, malaria tablets, bear masks, face wipes, sun cream, deodorant, some hand sanitizer, shower gel, some bug spray, a towel, some medical kits, sterile needle kit, gastro kit just in case I. Uh... <laughs> some masks. Passport, some cards and some cash. And now uh, some camera gear. Film camera, the drone, point and shoot, Insta360. Of course, some film for the film camera. Some spare batteries and SD cards. Mini hard drive and a portable battery. Bit overkill on the camera gear, but I don't want to be left without being able to capture something. Um, so obviously won't bring everything on each of the stages, um, but uh, taking it to Nairobi will do no harm. I'm sure there's some stuff missing, but in the scheme of things, that's what's coming with me. Now, more interestingly, onto the bike stuff. For nutrition, I'm using Raw Velo. They've sent over some bars, gels, hydration, so yeah, I'll be welcome. It's natural stuff, so um, it goes down well with my stomach. Chocolate and walnut brownie. So yeah, now, the kit. Helmet, of course. Uh, S-Works of Aid. Shoes. Fancy, uh, fancy new ones from Specialized. Glasses from Oakley. Some uh, jerseys from MAP. A lightweight one here as well. Shorts from MAP. Rain cape. Socks. Gloves. An under vest. Long sleeve. Is that in the shot? Can you see that? Got to be up here. Knee warmers. And another pair of shorts. And then also a hydration backpack. It's 1.5 liters from Osprey. Yeah, might come in handy. Um, I've got plenty of fittings for more bottles on the bike, but no harm in taking this. Now, I'm not 100% sure on the weather. It's difficult to know. Um, at points, we're at over 2,000 meters altitude and ranges from about 20 to 30 degrees in temperature um, with rain being possible so uh, in the mornings I think it will be like 10 to 20 degrees uh, and stages start at 6 a.m. so definitely got some warm stuff to keep me toasty in the mornings but um, equally the majority of the stuff is shorts and jerseys. <laughs> That is, uh, that is one setup. Zip 303S. Uh, we've got Pathfinder 42 millimeter tires. Uh, look pedals. Shram Red Axis power meter. Uh, it's a Diverge frame, size 56. Um, got the mirror saddle, which I find very comfortable. Got the famous compartment, the, sh uh, the shock absorbing headset. Got zip, handlebar and stem. Uh, it's a 130 mil stem, uh, which gives me the same sort of reach as my road bike. Um, a few spare spokes, of course, spare inner tubes, specialized tire lever, some brake blocks to stick in whilst traveling, battery cover to stick in whilst traveling, bag to put in the diverge frame. Um, I've got a charger here uh, and three spare batteries. It should do me fine for the for the whole race. Um, some spare tires, just in case. Oh, the new Wahoo Bolt, um, which I haven't set up yet, but we'll do before I leave. Um, got my Wahoo Roam, which has all the routes on already. Um, so I'll use this as a backup. Um, Neat little multi-tool. 
some Fenwick's uh, chain lube in a small bottle, some Fenwick's chain lube in a big bottle. Spare hanger, always useful when traveling. Some spare brake blocks, spare chain and quick links. Pump, some patches, water bottles of course. I hope I won't be using this, but for fall off. Some tire plugs for the tubeless tires. Some restrap bags, haven't quite decided what combination I'm gonna go for yet. Depends on how much I need to carry. Um, I doubt it'll be that much, uh, but we'll see. So I've got a few options here. Frame bag, top tube bag. I've also got a saddle bag. That's the bike setup. So that concludes the video. Um, yeah, I'm so excited to get out there. Uh, I don't know how much coverage I'm gonna have. Uh, so the majority of the content will be coming after the trip. Um, but I'm sure that'll be the same for most people. And yeah, I feel as prepared as I can be. So now it's just about getting over there and waiting for the race to start. I will see you in the next video about this Kenya trip.